Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be opening two different packages. One comes all the way from Florida. The other one comes all the way from Nevada. The one from Nevada would be the very first one from that state. Cannot wait to see what these packages contain. And I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, this is the package from Florida. This is the package from Nevada. We're going to be opening up the one from Nevada first. We're going to move this to the side. Again, this is the very first one from this state. We're just going to see what they send. It feels like a fixed blade. Hello, Mr. Kevin. Thanks for your daily videos. It has really ignited my knife collecting to an obsession. It's addicting, I'm telling you. I appreciate this trade between us for the button. My father is a retired teamster. He would love the Cesar Chavez button. Thank you for your great service to our country. I hope the knives are useful. I'm starting a, tr a YouTube channel with my family's outdoor fishing and hunting. Check me out at Broken Dam Outdoors on YouTube and Facebook. God bless. John Garcia. How about that? So, Broken Dam Outdoors. Well, I'll be dog. Okay. I sure will, buddy. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. This is what he sent, guys. And this is, uh, he seen this button I opened up. And he contacted me and he said his dad would love to have this. So, he offered up these two knives for a trade. So, we're going to look at the trade. But this is what he, he wants. And we're going to be sending him this. Also going to include some stickers. Uh, so, John, appreciate this, man. I really do. This is the first package from Nevada, guys. Awesome. Yes, yeah, sir, this is a old one here. Case, case tested. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Got some good knife parts. It's actually green bone too. Ain't that awesome? Good springs. This is a good uh good parts knife, man. Thank you so much for this. New rock. I think this was the actual trade here. I think he just sent this one for extra. Appreciate that. Check this out. This is a Western. How about that? Fish fillet S W16. How about that? Ain't that nice? I love that right there. Feels good in the hand. I like a fillet knife, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Wood handles, too. Man, yeah. Good looking sheath with a leather lanyard down there. You tie that around your leg so it won't be flopping around. But this is a well built knife. Beautiful, ain't it? I love that wood handle. The way it's shaped, the way it widens here. Love that. Man, I've never seen one of these before. That's all awesome, John. Thank you so much for this, buddy. I appreciate this trade. Sure do. I'll be getting this into the mail to you tomorrow. That's tomorrow's Monday. So this will be in the mail tomorrow. Thank you so much again, John. I forgot to say too, guys, when they use this uh, case-tested tank stamp right here, they used that tank stamp from 1920 to 1940. And that is genuine green bone right there. That was a nice knife. It was a camping knife. Mr. John sent those awesome knives all the way from Gardenville, Nevada. Very first package from Nevada. 2,428 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. John, thank you so much for the trade, buddy. Love the knives. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Okay, guys, now we're going to open up the package all the way from Lake 
Penasovsky, Florida. Dear Mr. Knife Doctor, my family and I really enjoy watching your videos every day. I've been a novice collector for years, but I've inspired, but you've inspired me to look for old knives and restore them. I've also started to dabble in some knife making and leather work. My wife does the sewing. We've included some knives for you to add to your collector or do with as you please, sir. My twins, Ronnie and Riley. <laughs> I have two sets of twins, grandkids. That's awesome. Wanted to draw you some pictures. They love watching your videos. They're six. That's awesome. Thanks, the Corman family. Ryan, Jessica, Ronnie, and Ryder. Riley, Riley, I'm sorry, Riley. P.S. Thank you for your service, sir. Our country is dire need of more people like you. Well, thank y'all for that. I've also included some money for a sticker, if you don't mind. If not, no worries. Yes, sir, I'll, I'll get you a sticker in the mail, man. Thank you so much. You didn't have to send no money. Appreciate this. Here are the, the pictures. Very cool. See, this is Knife Doctor. I love watching your videos. Thank you for your service. Love, Ronald. Pick on back. <laughs> Look at that. That is so awesome. Thank you for this. I love that. And this is from Riley. See, Knife Doctor, thank you for your service. My pop loves knives just like you. I watch your videos with him all the time. Love, Riley. Pick on back. <laughs> thank you so much for this, Riley and Ronald. That is so cool. <laughs> Thank y'all. Yes, sir. I'll be getting a sticker in the mail to y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Thank y'all so much for this. Ooh, I see an Ipanel. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for this so much. Y'all didn't have to do this. Look here, y'all. K bar. Oh, they're uh, are they, are they bottle openers? Oh, emergency whoop whistle. Look at that. Ain't that cool? That's very cool. They're miniature little K bars. That's awesome. Thank, thank you for this, man. Never seen that before. I love it. Look at this Apanel. I think it's the number eight. That's an old one too. It is a number eight. See that? Very cool, man. Look at that. Yes, yeah, sir. This is an older one now. They're made in France. That is a nice knife. So this is a very, very cool old Apanel. I love this, man. I love these knives. They're so simply made, but they're very well made. Love it. I really do. See, you can twist it and lock it when it's open because the blade goes past the bolster here, the twisting bolster, the locking bolster. But when it goes down here, it don't go past that, so it won't lock. So they modified this in the 90s. So it'll lock when it's closed. Very cool. I love this. Made in France. Awesome. Thank y'all, man. I love that. Get this one right here. Oh, boy. Look at this. Oh, my God. I don't have one of these. Man, what do you... Oh, my God, y'all. Look at that, double bladed. Oh my gosh, man. I love that. I forgot what this was called. I might have to look it up. But ain't that awesome? I gotta get a sheath made for this thing. That thing is so awesome. It's got a blade on both sides, y'all. That is awesome. 
Y'all, thank you so much for this. Wow. This is awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for that. Love that. Love it. This is a, a Golden Bear 6OT, I think it is. My favorite, favorite old timer knife. Great shape, too. Got the lanyard hole, it's got the uh, locking blade, lock back. Yes sir, that is a nice knife right there. Love that. Oh yeah, this is the uh, CH clip hanger. CH8, wow. Look at that, y'all. Serrated blade. I don't have one, one of these. Look at that, Ducks Unlimited. I was just talking about Ducks Unlimited the other day. They used to have the, the, the banquets here in town, and I won a few knives with them. Bid on some knives, too. Paid way too much for them. But it was all going to save the ducks. They want to save them, and then they want to go, go shoot them. <laughs> How about that? Oh boy. Very cool. I love that right there. Nope, don't have one of these. Thank you. This is a, a Western. That's cool. Good parts knife. Nice parts knife. This is a, I think it's a Colonial. Hear that hawk out there? USA. It's probably made by the Novelty Knife Company or Colonial or Imperial. Usually when it says made in USA, Camillus made those. Now this is a very nice knife here. And that is an Imperial, Imperial Ireland. Wow, that thing's very well made. Great snap. Very cool. Very awesome shape too. Awesome shape. Beautiful. This one's a little Gerber in it. Yeah, a little Gerber. It's a nice knife, very, very sharp. Like it's got a little tanto blade almost. Ain't it awesome? Never seen one of these before. But it's got your pocket clip, liner lock. That's awesome. I think they call that a pair frame. Good knife. And this one looks like a Kershaw. But it ain't, is it? Uh -uh. That's an Essie knife, man. Is this an Essie? Randall's Adventure. Yeah. Essie. How about that? I've never seen one of these before. It's made in Taiwan, too. I didn't know they made knives in Taiwan. It's called a... What's that called? Zancudo? Our knife designs with other manufacturers include the Zancudo and Avispa. Photo above. These knives are manufactured, sold and warrantied through Blue Ridge Knives in Virginia. We also co-designed the V2 Collective that is manufactured, sold, and warrantied by LT Right Handcrafted Knife. 
I have to look this one up. It's got off eight steel. Thing is sharp too. Very, very good knife here. Love that. A little essay. Well, that'd be dull. Lanyard hole, pocket clip, liner lock. Got the little thumb stud too. That's a very good little compact knife. It really is. I like the, f the way the handle shape, your hand just fits right up in there. That's very nice, man. Thank you so much for this. Love it, man. Love all these knives, man. I can't get over this Oppenel. That's, that's got a little age to it now. Love that right there. I also love this Golden Bear. Love the CH, what was the CH8? CH stands for a clip hanger, and it goes, a little clip goes right here with a little, uh, little clip you can clip on your backpack because these are very, very light knives. They're made for backpacking and camping and stuff like that. Very good knives. And I love this thing right here. I've got a good sheath made for it. I do. That is so awesome. Because I wouldn't mind carrying that on my side. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Love it, man. Love it. Awesome. The Corman family sent all those knives and gifts all the way from Lake Panasofsky, Florida. 309 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. The Coleman family, thank y'all so much for the drawings, Ronald, Riley. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching the channel. God bless y'all. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to thank the Corman family and Mr. John for all these knives and gifts, the trades. Thank y'all so much. And I'll be getting that button, Mr. John, in the mail tomorrow. And the Corman family, I'll be getting y'all some stickers. Thank y'all so much in the mail tomorrow. Thank y'all again. And guys, I just want to say that uh, me and the wife are going to go on a little road trip today. We found a table to go in here, a display table. So we got to go pick it up in Jackson, Georgia. And we're going to be going to uh, Fresh Air Barbecue, one of my favorite pl barbecue places in Georgia. I'm going to share some of that with y'all. And I hope to find a little pawn shop or two that might be open on Sunday. I doubt it. But uh, anyway, if we don't, I'll still include some kind of knives in the video for tomorrow. So... We're going to uh, do the little road trip, and that'll be the, the video for tomorrow. So it's going to be fun. I can't wait to uh, get the table in here. It looks really good. It looks old-timey. I hope the rain holds off. It's only about like a 24% chance of rain today, but we've gotten so much rain in the past few days. We really have, but we needed it now. We needed the good, steady rain, but I bet you we got over five inches of rain between the last two days, So, but it was really, really dry around here. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay safe. Faster towns, the whisper star day. Flea markets call and a treasure hunt today. With Auntie Queen by his side. They search, they barter, take the ride. He's the knife doctor on a seal crusade. Trucking with his lady in the deals they take. Down the lane where rust meets fade. He sees a spark in the forgotten, ain't too late A diamond in the rough, they say, till the night Doctor puffs the years away Through the aisles and past the stands His keen eye sweeps over the merchant's lands Picks up a bladed story untold Edges dull, but the handle's gold. He squints his eyes, he's past the grind. Each knife he saves like stopping time. In every town, 
a tale of Jim The hunt is on, no need to pretend Y'all got any knives or anything? Some pocket knives?